I want to talk about vicarious post-traumatic growth. So vicarious post-traumatic growth in many ways is the opposite of vicarious trauma. It's the phenomenon of growing as a result of working with trauma survivors. So vicarious post-traumatic growth is when the professional experiences their own personal and professional growth from the work that they're doing. So it's similar to post-traumatic growth, which is the phenomenon of growing in the aftermath of trauma. However, it's happening vicariously. Sometimes it gets described as vicarious resilience. So vicarious post-traumatic growth shows up in the same five domains as regular post-traumatic growth. It emerges as a new sense of personal strength, a new value in relationships a new sense of spirituality or commitment to religion, a new sense of opportunity in our life, or a greater appreciation for life. And so these are five different areas of post-traumatic growth that professionals can also experience vicariously through work with their clients. In the research on vicarious post-traumatic growth, they actually find that over 70% of people, professionals, report vicarious post-traumatic growth in various forms including living life more fully, treating others with more kindness, or simply being more emotionally present or expressive in our own personal lives. In the, the uh, systematic reviews and meta-analyses on vicarious post-traumatic growth, they find that there's four things that we can do, that we can actively do, to increase our likelihood of experiencing vicarious growth through the work that we're doing. First one is to engage in supervision. Second one is to engage in peer support. Third one is to engage in self-care. The fourth one is to engage in our own personal therapy and personal growth. So these are four really concrete things that all of us as professionals can engage in to reduce our vicarious trauma and burnout risks and increase our risk of growing from the work that we do. Now in these reviews in the research, they found other variables that were related to vicarious post-traumatic growth, which are pretty interesting. So these are variables that lead to more growth for professionals. So these include a sense of satisfaction and compassion satisfaction, competence in one's work, valuing one's own work, humor, empathy and optimism, positive affect and emotions, self-esteem, uh, more time in one's role or occupation, and witnessing traumatic growth in clients. So these are all different variables that can increase our likelihood of experiencing vicarious post-traumatic growth. Interestingly, in the research, they also find that professionals who have a trauma history themselves and are in their own personal therapy tend to report higher rates of vicarious post-traumatic growth, which makes a lot of sense to me. Another study uh, found that therapists that work from a humanistic or transpersonal theoretical orientation are more likely to experience vicarious post-traumatic growth, whereas cognitive behavioral therapists were actually a lot less likely to experience vicarious post-traumatic growth which I thought was pretty interesting. So this is a, a field of study that continues to grow, and I find it especially important that we're talking about vicarious post-traumatic growth. It's great that we're starting to talk a lot more about vicarious trauma and burnout, but I actually have never heard a trainer or a professor or an educator or a supervisor talk about vicarious post-traumatic growth. It was a concept that I stumbled upon while I was reading boring research studies about vicarious trauma and about post-traumatic growth in writing th this book, actually. And when I found it, I thought, man, we need to be talking about this more. This is such a hopeful phenomenon that we can actively be cultivating in our workplaces. And it really helps to balance out the risks of vicarious trauma if we're cultivating and working towards vicarious resilience, or vicarious post-traumatic growth. So ever since I discovered this concept in the research 
and read about others who were writing about it. I made it a point to try to talk about this as much as possible and teach about it as much as possible. So at this point, I want to challenge us to pause for a moment and to reflect on what are some of the specific ways as a professional that you've experienced vicarious post-traumatic growth as a result of your work. I know for myself, sometimes the courage I see my clients demonstrate challenges me to be more courageous in my own life. Or the childhood trauma that my clients talk about challenges me to be more grateful for the childhood that I had. Or the the ways that I, I experience my clients to make meaning in the aftermath of death and loss really inspires me in my own meaning-making process around the deaths and losses I've experienced. Or when I have a client who has a really uh, conflictual marriage, it challenges me to value and have more gratitude for, for my marriage, for my relationship. That when my clients are expressing gratitude about little things in life, really challenges me to be grateful for my own life as well. So what are the ways that you've experienced vicarious post-traumatic growth as a result of your work? I encourage you to put some of those examples in the comments below.